Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be covering how to use the dashboard. So let's go ahead and click the dashboard tab, the second one up on the top left. And you'll notice there's a number of cells that are in different colors, green, yellow, and red, and white. And on this particular one there aren't any yellow because there's uh, there aren't any uh, rules that are being met that are associated with the yellow color. But anyway, let me show you how that this works. If you double click on any box in here, you can define it to be whatever you'd like. And in this uh, this particular cell, I've defined it for price. And I've set it up to turn red if the price is less than $5. And that gives me a visual cue that the current stock that I'm looking at on the left side of the screen is, is not meeting that requirement that I've set up. So you can configure this any way to meet your trading uh, style or methodology. So it's a nice mile high view to see whether or not this stock looks like a stock you'd want to enter a trade in. So you can add as many rules behind each one of these cells as you want just by going to a new row and choosing what kind of uh, display you would like to show. The pro means it's going to show up green, warning means it'll show up yellow, and error means it'll show up red. And of course if it doesn't meet the criteria it'll remain white so it's kind of neutral in, in nature. So. Uh, let's just say that if the price is over $20, we want it to show up as a green cell. So let me go grab price from this list, and price is right here in the middle. And let's say the price is greater than or equal to $20. And now if I save that, that'll turn green for the stocks that we highlight that have at least $20. This particular one is $2505. And another cool feature is when you see these red exclamation points next to each cell, you can actually put your mouse over that and see what the values are without having to go to other parts of the system to look that up. So feel free to customize this any way you want. You can change the text in these boxes that group these cells by right-clicking and choosing Change Text. And you could name this anything, other, anything else uh, if you didn't want technical there, and then hit Save. And uh, also, one other thing, when you go into the rules screen, there's two ways to get to that. You can either right click on the cell and choose change rules or change text. And that'll allow you to just change the text of the cell. But if you right click and choose change rules, it'll bring up that same screen as if you double click the cell. And uh, there's one thing, you might get partially into defining a rule. Let's say we got halfway through here, but then we changed our mind and we didn't want that rule. You could simply hit the escape key on your keyboard, then highlight the row by clicking this left area where the arrow is, and then hit the delete key on your keyboard, and that'll remove that row so that it no longer is in there. And you can do that with several. If, if you had defined like five rows, you can highlight them holding your control or shift keys down on your keyboard, and then hit the delete key to get rid of several rules at the same time. And that's kind of the same throughout the system, including the custom filter screen. But I just wanted to cover that because some people were confused on how you would remove a row that you're partially defining. So hit save, it'll reevaluate the current row we're on. So that is a dashboard at a, at a mile high. It's a very useful feature to help you look through your focus list and quickly identify whether or not you want to spend more time digging into the details of the fundamentals or researching that stock. And uh, visually, as you go through the stocks on the left, you'll see that they change dynamically. So depending on the amount of green or red on the screen, it'll indicate whether or not you want to spend that time. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at questions at iintheskyscreener.com. Or you can, uh, I suggest, uh, attend a webinar event. You can find that on the education page of the website. And be sure to RSVP because there's a limited amount of space for people to attend. So thank you for watching this video and have a great day.